Hey guys, we're here with our NPL Season 3 Week 1 battle against the Litchfield Park Larvitars and their coach NC Squared. Uh, Nate will definitely be down in the description below, so make sure you guys go check him out. He's an awesome dude, uh, an amazing coach uh, in the league, awesome fun dude to hang around with. Honestly, I've been talking to him outside of Pokemon stuff, and I just he's an awesome dude to be around. Um, so definitely make sure you guys go check him out. But real quick, we will go over the team that Nate did decide to bring to this match he does have the tapu lele the embor the mandibuzz the gyarados which could be his zemon um, he has mega agron and alolan raichu as well uh, my team that i brought is uh, mega scizor landorus which is my zemon um or i'm sorry volcanion which is my zemon and i also brought landorus um mesprit frostlass and komala now looking at the team that he decided to bring um, honestly, I really want to get my light screen and my rocks up as quickly as possible because of the fact that he has that Tapu Lele and then rocks is going to be a huge burden on his team. He only has the Mandibuzz that could potentially get rid of them and nothing on his team really appreciates the constant rock switching and so I'm going to go ahead and lead off with my Mesprit and try to get my light screen and my rocks off as quickly as possible as he does indeed lead off with the Tapu Lele and activates the Psychic Surge. Uh, which will summon a Psychic Terrain onto the field. He goes ahead and clicks Moonblast, um, which will do a decent amount, but I am pretty specially defensive, which helps me take that. And I can set up a Light Screen, which will help me take those Moonblasts even better. And this gives me an opportunity to go ahead and set up my Rocks. Now, later on in the match, if he could defog away the, um, them with his Mandibuzz, but for now, he's going to be taking stuff every time he wants to switch in. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click Toxic, trying to get some more damage off on that uh, Tapu Lele, whittling it down. Um, progressively but he makes a good play and goes into the aggron which will be obviously immune to the toxic because it is a steel type um but i do have a switch into this aggron and it, it is my volcanion so i'm going to go ahead and do that he's just probably just going to mega evolve and set up rocks is what i'm assuming uh, but he could potentially click heavy slam just for the damage on the mesprit uh but he does indeed uh mega evolve and uh set up his stealth rocks now i don't expect him to stay in versus um my z fire type move so i'm going to go ahead and click steam eruption just to hit whatever wants to come in um, I do unfortunately miss my Steam Eruption though, and that would have done a huge amount of damage to the Gyarados to the point where um, it would have made it actually kind of me a little bit less nervous. I spent a lot of time calcing this, and according to my calcs, HP Electric w um, was a roll to kill this Gyarados. If I got not off that extra damage with the Steam Eruption, it would have been guaranteed. So that made me a little bit nervous, but I still clicked the HP Electric anyways, in which that was a good move because he does decide to try to set up the Substitute. Um, now my HP Electric will kill him 100% as, he's, um, as he clicks EQ and does uh, about half to my Volcanion, which is a good amount of damage, but HP Electric will be able to take out the Gyarados, so we are up 6-5 on turn 7, which is good for us. He brings in the Embor, which uh, made me immediately assume this thing to be Scarf. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just stay in and see what he wants to lock himself into, and I'm going to click um, uh, Steam Eruption, but he over-predicts a little bit and goes for the Flare Blitz, which won't do very much to... Um, the Volcanion because of his quad resistant. I can kill it with a uh, Steam Eruption. Uh, my Light Screen is also going to wear off this turn as well, which is a little bit unfortunate, but that's okay. We uh, we could potentially set it back up later. He brings in his Raichu, uh, which will do a lot to uh, my Volcanion with an Electric type move. So I'm going to go ahead and switch into my Komala, predicting that Electric type move, but he makes a good play and clicks Psy Shock, which will do a significant amount to my Komala to the point where I can't even live another one, which is a little bit uh, nerve wracking. So I'm going to go ahead and click Protect and see what he wants to do. He, we, he did reveal that he is Life Orb, so he's not choice uh, locked at all. Um, so I click Protect so I can get some more Leftovers Recovery and see what he wants to lock himself into. Uh, at this point, I know I can go into Mesprit and potentially sack it off. Um, if he over predicts, I can potentially get up um, my Light Screen again. But if not, that's okay. Uh, he clicks Psy Shock, which won't do a lot to Mesprit, but it will put me into the point where another Psy Shock or even just a Thunderbolt, which I assume he has, will kill me. Uh, so Mesprit is going to drop to the Raichu, however he's taken all that life orb damage which is pretty significant and will help out a lot. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go, and go into my Scizor, predicting him to not really want to prioritize having HP Fire rather than having HP Ice because of Landorus. So I don't think he'll be able to do much to me. What I can do is Mega Evolve, get my Mega Evolution off which will help tremendously and click U-Turn which will either kill the, um, the Raichu or get me initiative for whatever he wants to switch into. So he does decide to go into the Aggron. And at this point, I can um, 
Volcania will die to a rock switching, I believe. Um, but I ultimately just decided to go into Landorus anyways. Um, I click Earth Power, honestly, for the sake of damage. If he wants to go into Mana Buzz, that's okay because I can react to it. He does make the play and decides to go into Mana Buzz, which would be obviously um, completely immune to the Earth Power. So Mana Buzz takes no damage, and uh, I really want to save Landorus for later, so I'm going to go ahead and switch out, and I go into my Volcanion, sack it off to Rock so I can get a clean switch into something else. Um, what this also does is it prevents him from defogging this turn, even though he does click Foul Play. Um, so that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and go into my Frostlass, and because he didn't bring the Gudra, Fro uh, Frostlass's purpose of killing the Gudra is not very helpful at all. But uh, So I'm just going to go ahead and click Ice Punch for the sake of damage on this Mana Buzz. It turns out he has Rocky Helmet, and I do, uh, unfortunately, get a freeze with my Ice Punch, which uh, will actually be a little bit of an issue for Nate. It's kind of unfortunate. Um, but I can just kill him off with two more Thunderbolts. I don't want to risk taking more Rocky Helmet damage with the Ice Punch. Um, so the Frost Last is going to go ahead and take out the Mandibuzz, which is good, because Mandibuzz is a bit of an issue for my team. Um, he's going to go ahead and go back into the Aggron. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to click Shadow Ball for the sake of damage. Frost Last isn't doing much for the rest of the match. Um, so it won't make a huge difference, but he decides to roar me out, which I thought was a bit of an uh, interesting play. Um, he actually ends up roaring me out to my landers, which might have been the best possible thing he could have roared me out into. So I can kill off this Aggron with um, the Earth Power, and down will go the Aggron. So we are up 4-2 late into the game, which is looking good for us. Um, he goes into the Raichu. Obviously, this thing is going to click HP, Ice, there's no doubt about it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and go into my Komala. And um, see if he really does have the HP ice. If not, we can go right back into Landorus and put in some damage. But he does reveal the hidden power. I can only assume that to be ice. Um, and we take that very nicely. And what I can do is I can set up a wish on the off chance he wants to switch out, which he actually does end up doing, which I thought was interesting as well. Um, so we can set up a wish and potentially uh, get back up to a decent chunk of health. However, he brings in the Tapu Lele, and I got a little bit concerned that this might have been a Calm Mind variant of Tapu Lele. So what I do is I actually click Return, just in case he is. It's okay that um, we wasted our wish. I really didn't want this thing to set up on me. That could have really been dangerous. Um, but he clicks the Moon Blast and kills off my Komala, and what I can do is I can go into the Landorus and kill it off with a uh, Sludge Wave because I outspeed, or so I thought. Um, he does finally reveal that he is indeed a Scarf Tapu Lele. I did not, I don't know why I didn't expect that, uh, and since he wasn't taking Life Orb damage and he wasn't doing nearly enough damage for his specs. Uh, but nonetheless, he is, turns out to be Scarf, and he, uh, does damage with the Moon Blast to the point where it brings me down to 5% health, and he actually gets a special attack drop, which is huge, because that means that this Sludge Wave will not kill this Tapu Lele after that special attack drop. Um, so, I, I, Landorus dies to Rock Switch, and there's no point in conserving it. I'm just going to go ahead and sack it off to Tapu Lele. At this point, I know he has HP Fire on his Tapu Lele, and it's not looking good for me. Um, because all he has to do is switch out into his Raichu, and come back with his Tapu Lele, lock himself in HP Fire, and pretty much win the game. So, um, knowing he's probably going to switch out, I'm going I'm to go ahead and click U-Turn, just for the sake of killing off this Raichu. Um, it, it at least will reduce it down to a 1-0. Um, so I kill off the Raichu, we're up 2-1 right now, uh, but it's not looking good for us. I'm going to go back in, out into my Frost Last, um, and honestly just kind of pray for a miracle. <laughs> uh, there's really not much I can do. So uh, obviously he's going to bring in his Scarf Tapu Lele, all he has to do is lock himself into HP Fire and he wins the game. I'm going to click Shadow Ball on the off chance he misses HP Fire, you know, something nuts like that. Uh, but he does indeed carry the HP Fire, the crit did not matter, but that does matter. Uh, he hits us with HP Fire, and that disables his HP Fire because of the Cursed Body, which is huge. Without that, I very easily lost this game. Uh, because he is disabled, he cannot use any more moves because he is Choice Locked, so he uh, clicks Struggle. That's not going to do much to Scizor, and Scizor kills with Iron Head. It, even so, um, Tapu Lele just dies to Struggle Recoil either way. So, uh, we are going to take a very narrow 1-0 victory. That victory only coming from uh, Cursed Body, Frostlass, coming in clutch. Um, although, the special attack drop on the Landorus kind of made a big difference as well, because that would mean that Tapu Lele would have dropped right then and there, and I wouldn't have had to worry about that. I actually didn't ask him his Tapu Lele set, so it might have been a roll, but I don't know for sure. But no matter what, that Cursed Body was huge after the special attack drop, so a 30% chance to win. Um, ironically enough... 
I got hacked out my first season of, or my first battle of season two. And I wouldn't say I hacked Nate out, but there was definitely two very significant hacks on, on his, on my part being the freeze and obviously the cursed body. Um, there was two minor ones on his part as well that the steam eruption miss and then the special attack drop on Landris. But either way, none of them at the end of the day, hacks don't make a difference. Um, it's just the game we play. It's Pokemon. It's the nature of the beast, I guess is the best way to put it. But anyways, we are going to take a 1-0 victory over the Litchfield Park Larvitars, uh, which starts us off 1-0 in the league, which is very good for us. Uh, hopefully we can ride this momentum all the way to an NPL Season 3 title. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, a like and a subscription would be much appreciated. And I will see you guys in Week 2 for our team builder against uh, Mr. Alpha Drops and the Rocky Mountain Marowax. A nice rematch I'm looking forward to. Uh, but anyways, that's going to be it for this video. And I will see you in the next one. Later.